So what I've got here is a menu that uh, opens up whenever you press Y and closes whenever you press B. And while it's open, you can move to the different items. Oop. Go back to my... Okay. Here I start off by clearing the screen. I declare variables for CY. This is my cursor Y position. And open is equal to false. And here I have my first function that uses gfill to draw the box. And then I just locate and print each of the items. And here you see it says cursor. That means it's going to go over to the cursor function and look at that real quick. Set open to true. And here in the close menu one, it basically just clears all of the uh, all the graphics from the screen and then prints over the text, you know, the blank spaces, even the cursor position. And as you can see, uh, I just subbed in CY for the cursor Y position and sets open to false. Now in the cursor one, I have if open equals false, then C equals 8. That means, you know, that's so that while you're pressing the up and down buttons, whenever the uh, menu is closed, then it's not going to keep decrementing and incrementing. The, the cursor won't move whenever it's not showing up on the screen, in other words. And I also have boundaries for the cursor. Um, this way... You know, if it reaches the top, then it doesn't keep on going past that. Same thing with the bottom. And here's where I actually print my cursor. If open equals true, then I just locate the cursor and print it. And here's my main, uh, my main loop here. And I just have, if the Y button is pressed, then open the menu. If B is pressed, then close the menu. And here I have if button 2, that means that uh, it only returns uh, it only returns whenever the button is pressed initially. That way, if you hold down the button, it doesn't just keep on scrolling. And this is so that uh, whenever you're scrolling up and down, it doesn't just go ahead and just scroll all the way down to the bottom and all the way down, up to the top really fast. But then I have... The first thing I do is locate and print uh, where the last place my cursor was, a blank space, so that it gets rid of it. And then I decrement CY by 2. That means that it's going to move this CY that's in locate, well, the one that is in print right here. <clears throat> it's going to move, move that just uh, two little units down. Because that's, that's how far the space is between our menu items. And then I did the, pretty much the same thing with down, except for I increment it. Oh, yeah, and <clears throat> it, it goes over to cursor real quick so that it prints all of this. And then I slapped a V-Sync in there. And the um, the key is in the description. If you want to look at it. I'm sorry most of my keys haven't been working lately. Uh, Small Boom has basically been just knocking down my keys left and right. So I'm, I'm going to try and be more proactive about keeping the keys up. But, I mean, if you guys could, just in case, like, uh, make public keys on yours and then post them in the comments, it would really help.